Kevin and I heard and read the comments. The quizzes have been too easy. So I asked Kev, for the next one, make sure it's difficult. So we're guessing the NBA player by basketball reference page. I'm going to be honest with you. I stole this completely from John Boyd Media. Shout out to them and their team. We're just going to get screenshots of someone's basketball reference, and we have to guess. You understand? Okay, so this is the first one. Basketball reference tells you so many different things that you can use to figure out who is what. So what I'm seeing is that it's an active player who plays small forward for the Hornets. Already, I have an answer. But we also can see that this season, he's averaging 19 points per game. Career year for this player. Uh, but he started off at Washington, ended up in Phoenix, played a year with the Warriors. This is Kelly Oubre Jr. If I can hit the button right, boom, there we go. I will say, though, Kev, there's two quizzes in the row where Kelly Oubre was one of the answers. I'm, I'm, I ain't saying, but I'm saying. All right? Next one. Somebody's been in the league since 2009 and played for the Bulls. Okay, power forward that played for the Bulls, then went to OKC. Okay, okay, so, yeah, this is another Kev. Kev, are you watching? Even harder questions next time. Because I'm too in and I'm too, I ain't even really had to think about it. This is my guy, Todd Gibson. He did ask me if he could use former players too. Um, there we go. Perfect example. He gave us a former player that played pretty much his entire career with the Knicks, but also played for the New Jersey Nets. Okay, so this is actually a, a real one. Um, Set out a season with a back injury. Power forward for the end of the 60s in the 70s for the Knicks. 25 minutes per. So this is a guy that got real PT. He had a season where he averaged 11. The only name that comes to mind that kind of fits is Phil Jackson. That's the only name that kind of fits what I'm thinking. But the year of him sitting out with a back injury stole me off because I don't remember I mean, I, just, I don't remember any of this because this was 16 years before I was born. His last season was 16 years before I was born. So I don't remember any of it. But you know what I'm saying? Like in the history of Phil Jackson, I've read Phil Jackson's book. And I don't remember him mentioning sitting out with a back injury. I'm going to go Phil Jackson. Okay, I was right. All right. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. We're three for three. Next one, another player that is no longer in the NBA. Ended his career in 1994. Two-time, three-time All-Star. Two with Cleveland. Power forward, two-time All-Star with Cle Cleveland, one time with the Suns. This is my, my secret song. I should, like, do the Space Jam, Michael secret. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, this right here, I have the answer. This right here is Larry Nance Sr., or just Larry Nance. I mean, a lot of people don't put the senior in front of it. You got Marcus Moore Sr. If I had a son who I named Kenny Beecham, which I won't, I would probably put the senior at the end of my name. I feel like it's, it adds an extra element. It makes you more cool. This is Larry Nance, the first. The first is a good one. All right. Um, now that I'm looking at this, I am nowhere near. Oh, I just. Oh, my God. I, okay, it's Tom Gugliotta. I just misclicked. I was trying to click over here so I could move myself. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, well, let's go back. Because I was looking at here, and, and this is more centered. That's what I was doing. I was literally trying to center myself. and I, and I, But in my defense, in my defense, I would have got this right. I would have got Tom Gugliotta right. Because of how long he played in the All-Star game in the middle of the 90s, I would have got Tom Gugliotta. I'm just, I'm being honest with you. I would have got that right. I, I would have told you if I would have been wrong. Tom Gugliotta. Oh, a young Daniel Marshall. Look at that. Um, I would have got this right for sure. This is a current NBA player. That is a small four for the Brooklyn Nets, who's leading the league in three-point shooting. Come on, man. My secret, let me get my, my secret stuff. It's water. This is Yuta. Yuta Watanabe. Bay. Heard it both ways. Yuta. Yeah, that's a layup. Again, this was a layup, too. Even though I went past it accidentally, I'm telling you, I would have got it right. Oh, my God, Kev. We doing this again. We doing this one again in the near future. I'm telling Kevin to stop. This is a hall of this is a hall of famer. This is the all time leading leader in steals and assists. This is John Stockton. I see all of these stars in Utah. I ain't even need to look at the statistics. All the stars in Utah is all I really need to know. And saw so point guard. And then obviously the man led the league in assists one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. That's ridiculous. That's why it's like an unbeatable record. 
Um, but he also is an Iron Man. Look at this. From here on out, 82 of 82 games. He missed a couple games here. 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82. And then he hit, 30, he hit 35. And that body started breaking down a little bit more. And then he came back at 37, 82, 82, 82, 82. He was 40 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And he played every single game of that season. Don't really mess with John Stockton, but that's, that's elite. That's elite. No low management. I sound like an old head. No low management in sight. John Stockton. Ooh, okay, you, okay, I thought for a second you got me, Kev, I thought for a second, and then I see New York average 33-ish points per game, I see the knee injuries, and I see that this is Bernard King, um, low-key, if it was just the first, let's say, five, four years, I wouldn't have got this right, I didn't know that, Bern I mean, call me a casual if you want, I didn't know Bernard King started off with the Brooklyn Nets, I always saw him as a New York Knicks slash a uh, Washington Bullet. And, oh, I didn't even know he ended with the New Jersey Nets. So, that lets you know everything I know. So, he started off his career with the Jersey Nets and then ended up averaging 24 as a rookie, which is insane. Um, had some injury history with Utah. They ended up with the Golden State Warriors where he took off a little bit. And, of course, he is a New York Knicks legend, averaging 33 points per game in that 55-game season. And, yeah, he, he had a lot of injury history, but still did his thing. Bernard King, number 30, 30 on his chest. Okay. Active NBA player who currently plays in OKC. Um, a center power forward that does not rebound a ton. That lets me know a lot about this guy. That lets me know a lot about this guy. That lets me know that this is Moose, right? Mike Muscala? Atlanta to Philly to LA to... Yeah, this is Mike Muscala for sure. Thank you. Next one. Somebody's career that was ended at the age of 31 because of a knee injury where he ended up in New Orleans slash Charlotte. He was a one-time All-Star. Um, Bucket, though, a couple years average of 20-plus. A couple, a lot of years. One, two, three, four, five, six years average of 20-plus. Uh, Miami. I, honestly, I might change this quiz up a little bit and have him do, like, bits and pieces. Show me that he played his first year in Dallas, but cover up the rest of the, the, the teams. Show me one of his years where he played points and minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because when I got all the context clues to his, this is Jamal Masper. Yeah, that's Jamal Masper. Wow. Whoa. Um, career journeyman this guy is. Seattle to Denver to San Antonio to Houston. Back to San Antonio to the Warriors. Stayed in San Antonio for a good amount of time. A good amount of time. And he was starting. In the late 90s. Started in 99-2000, which is a big year. And he was the point guard. This is Avery Johnson. This is Avery Johnson, y'all! I, I saw the big year of 99-2000. Of saw that he was a starting point guard. That's all I needed to know. Shout out to Avery. My, my, my daughter's name, too. So it's weird to even say that. Okay. To Phoenix. And then let, set out a year with a knee injury. A power forward. Then went to Charlotte? And then to Vancouver to end his career at 31. Only started 130 games out of about 500. So, you know, a mostly career backup. 50% from the field. This is the late 80s, early 90s. Not going to be a three-point shooter for sure. What did you do? Not a rebounder. Kevin, you got me. I don't really have an idea. I don't really have an idea. Who was on those rosters? See, that's a little bit too early. And my lineage when it comes to Hornets slash Pelican slash whatever always throws me off. Tell me who it is. Okay, it's, Ken, it's Kenny Gaddison. G Gaddison? Gaddison? I was never going to get that. I'm, I was never going to get that. Okay. Somebody, a center, who played in Seattle, Denver, Milwaukee for some years. Ended his career in Milwaukee in 06. Okay, so he ended his career around the time I was starting to get into basketball. But I was also... Nine years old, maybe. There's nothing that stands out like, oh, yeah, this helps me. That's, is this going to be two in a row? Thank you. First of all, shout out to Kev. Started off easy. Now we're getting harder as we go on. Um, He had a season where he averaged 11 boards. Does that help with Denver? He averaged 11 boards in Denver in 1996. I was born in 96. I don't, I don't, have, a, I don't have a clue. All right, we'll move. Irvin Johnson. Not Magic Irvin Johnson. Just Irvin Johnson. Oh, it's the last one. Okay. I think we could have went on for like... Four more hours. This is super fun. So what did I get wrong? Up in the air. I, I hope that y'all trust me. Y'all been watching for the time. I hope you trust that I would have got this right. Did we just get the last? We just got the last two wrong. 
I, I'm, I'll take that. I'll take that. If you have any more suggestions for something I could tell Kevin to create, hit the link in the description. Go to suggest the suggestion box because um, we'll be there. We'll definitely be there. Irvin Johnson had a captain badge. He had a captain badge in Milwaukee. Dang, that's crazy.